Hello everyone, myself B. Ramaprabha, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science from KCS Kasinadar College of Arts and Science. In this video, I am going to brief about microprocessor architecture and its operations. Let us see what is microprocessor architecture. The microprocessor is a programmable logic device designed with registers and flip-flops. The microprocessor has a set of instruction designed internally to manipulate data and communicate with peripherals. This process of data manipulation and communication is determined by the logic design of the microprocessor called the architecture. This diagram shows the 8085 microprocessor architecture. Next, we see the microprocessor architecture. The 8085 microprocessor architecture consists of the following blocks. Registers, arithmetic and logic unit, instruction decoder and machine cycle encoder, address buffer, address and data buffer, increment and decrement address latch, serial I.O. control and timing and control circuitry. Next, register array. The register are used to store data temporarily during the executing of a program. Some of the registers are accessible to the user through instructions. These registers can be classified as general purpose register, temporary data register, accumulator, flag registers, instruction register, program counter and stack pointer. The 8085 has 6 general purpose registers to store 8 bit data during a program execution. These registers are identified as BC, DE, H and L. They can be combined as register pairs BC, DE and HL to perform some 16 bit operations. These registers are programmable meaning that a programmer can use them to load or transfer data from the registers by using instructions. For example, the instruction move B, C transfer the data from register C to register B. Accumulator The accumulator is an 8-bit register that is a part of ALU. This register is used to store 8 bit data and perform arithmetical and logical operation. The result of an operation is stored in the accumulator register. It is also identified as register A. Temporary registers. Temporary registers are used to hold the data temporarily during the execution of program. In 8085 microprocessor, there are 3 8-bit temporary registers are used. One register is used during calculation time. The other temporary register W and Z are used to hold data or address temporarily during execution of some instruction. These registers are not available to the programmer but the processor uses them internally to hold the data temporarily during execution of some instruction. Example, call instructions, instruction register and decoder. As mentioned earlier, the processor first fetches the opcode of instruction from memory and stores this opcode in the instruction register. It is then sent to the instruction decoder. The instruction decoder decodes it and accordingly gives the timing and control signals which control the register, the data buffer, ALU and external peripheral signals depending on the nature of the instruction. Program counter. Program counter is a special purpose register. Consider an instruction is being executed by processor. As soon as the ALU finished executing the instruction, the processor looks for the next instruction to be executed. So, there is a necessity for holding the address of the next instruction to be executed in order to save time. This is taken care by the program counter. A program counter stores the address of the next instruction 
to be executed in other words the program counter keeps track of the memory address of the instruction that are being executed by the microprocessor and the memory address of the next instruction that is going to be executed microprocessor increment the program whenever an instruction is being executed so that the program counter points to the memory address of the next instruction that is going to be executed program counter is a 16 bit register stack pointer the stack is a reserved area of the memory in the ram where temporary information may be stored a 16 bit stack pointer is used to hold the address of the most recent stack entry flag register the 8085 microprocessor contain five flip flop to serve as a status flag the flip flop are set or reset according to the condition which arises during an arithmetic or logical operation the five status flag of 8085 are carry flag parity flag axillary carry flag zero flag and sign flag if a flip flop for a particular flag is set then it indicates 1 when it is reset it indicates 0 arithmetic and logic unit the alu perform arithmetic and logical function on 8 bit variables the arithmetic unit perform bit wise fundamental arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction the logic unit perform logical operation such as complement and or and xor as well as rotate and clear timing and control unit the timing and control unit is the section of the processor it is used to generate timing and control signals which are necessary for the execution of instruction it is used to control data flow between processor and peripherals it is used to provide status control and timing signals which are required for the operation of memory and io devices it is used to control the entire operations of the microprocessor and peripherals connected to it address buffer this is an 8 bit unidirectional buffer it is used to drive external high order address that is a15 to a8 address and data buffer this is an 8 bit uni- bidirectional buffer it is used to drive multiplexed address or data bus that is low order address bus a7 to a0 and data bus d7 to d0 increment and decrement address latch this is 16 bit address is used to increment or decrement the content of program counter or stack pointer as a part of execution of instruction related to them interrupt control group in 8085 interrupts are the signals generated by the external devices to request the microprocessor to perform a task there are five interrupt signals that is trap rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and intr serial input and output control 8085 microprocessor has two serial input and output pins that are used to read or write one bit data to and from peripheral device they are sid that is serial input data line and sod serial output data line next i am going to brief about microprocessor operation the internal logic design of the microprocessor called its architecture it determines how and what various operations are performed by the microprocessor the microprocessor is a programmable logic device designed with register flip flop and timing elements all functions in microprocessor can be classified in three categories microprocessor initiated operations internal data operation and peripheral or externally initiated operations 
first we will see microprocessor initiated operation the mpu that is microprocessor unit perform primarily four operation that is memory read memory write io read and io write memory read reads data from memory memory write writes data into memory io read input output read accept data from input devices io write sends data to output devices all these operations are part of the communication process between mpu and peripheral devices including memory to communicate with a peripheral or a memory location the mpu needs to perform the following steps step 1 identify the peripheral or the memory location step 2 transfer the data step 3 provide timing or synchronization signals the 8085 mpu perform this function using three sets of communication lines called buses the buses are classified in three categories the address bus the data bus and the control bus next internal data operation and the registers the internal architecture of the 8085 microprocessor determines how and what operations can be performed with the data these operations are to store 8 bit data using register and to perform arithmetic and logical operations with the help of ilu unit test for conditions using flag registers sequence the execution of instruction using control logic and store the data temporarily during execution in the defined read write memory location called the stack to perform all these operations the microprocessor require registers and arithmetic and logic unit and control logic and internal buses peripheral or externally initiated operation external devices or signals can initiate the following operation for which individual pins on microprocessor chip are assigned reset when reset is activated all internal operations are suspended and the program counter is cleared interrupt the microprocessor can be interrupted from normal execution and asked to execute other instructions called service routine microprocessor resumes its operation after that ready 8085 has been called ready if the signal is low the microprocessor enter into wait state this signal used to synchronize slower peripherals with microprocessor hold when the hold pin is activated by external signal microprocessor relinquish control buses and allow the external peripheral to use the buses thank you for watching this video